I'm Jerry Kirk. I uh, came to know the Lord through Young Life in 1949 at Star Ranch. Uh, when I told Mike McCutcheon, the captain of our university basketball team, that I'd given my heart to Christ. And I wanted to be with Mike McCutcheon because he was the star player in the whole city of Seattle. Uh, by the way, Ad Sewell tried to get me to camp and I said, no, Ad, I'm playing in tennis tournaments all summer and I can't do it. And uh, so then he went to Mike McCutcheon uh, and said, wouldn't you like to invite Jerry Kirk to come with you? <laughs> Mike was the key, and Ad knew that Mike would be the key. I was going to go to a seminary at Fuller in California, and my pastor was called to be a pastor in Pittsburgh, and so he sought me out and said, Jerry, I want you to come to Pittsburgh because I'd like to have you lead our youth group in Pittsburgh. And I said, I'm not interested. I'm going to go to Fuller in California, and I'm going to lead the Glendale Young Life Club. So my pastor went to Jim Rayburn and said, wouldn't you like to start Young Life in Pittsburgh? And wouldn't you like to send Jerry Kirk there? Yes, Jim thought that was a good idea. So Jim <laughs> came to me. He said, that, that would be much more significant than you're just leading a club in Glendale. I'd love to have you do that. I feel called. <laughs> when Jim Rayburn uh, suggests something, uh, you feel called. I went from Pittsburgh to New Wilmington, Pennsylvania, and was pastor across the street from Westminster College. Cincinnati College Hill Presbyterian Church sought me out, and I did not think my work was done in New Wilmington. So I said no in a final way, and then they came back a second time, and I said no in a final way, and praise God, they came back a third time. And I said to my wife, I think we ought to go see what's happening in Cincinnati. Maybe the Lord is calling us there. What happened was uh, I arrived on a weekend and the middle-aged couples group was meeting the following Friday. I turned to the woman on my left and I said, Lois, what led you to want to come in to talk about it? And we'll just go around the circle. Gil was about the seventh person. He talked about being a hellion, but that he had opened his heart to Jesus about 10 months before at a preaching mission by Don Muma, the All-American linebacker from UCLA. And what I, I saw in Gil, some tremendous leadership skills. After 10 months, I gave him our youth group. And after about a year, that youth group had grown to over 600 at 6.30 on Thursday mornings, and we were feeding bacon and eggs and cereal and juice for all these kids. And then Gil would speak. And man, God touched those young people through him. And uh, we got back and Jerry announced, well, I'm not a morning person, so this is yours, Gil. And uh, I'd never done anything like it. As a matter of fact, uh, it scared me to death. Uh, but we started it up. Uh, I had no idea what I was doing, but uh, the first summer after we started, I had we had a couple of college kids involved from Pittsburgh that were involved in Young Life there. And they got me introduced to Young Life and Young Life was having a leadership training camp out in Colorado. And I got booked for that. So I, uh, I got a total of one week's training in Christian youth work. <laughs> and that's uh, some and substance of my formal education, but uh, at the time, Teen Breakfast Club had grown, oh, I don't know, might have gotten to 100 kids, but from six or seven different high schools, kids just kept bringing kids, kept bringing kids, and kept bringing kids. And uh, it just, uh, over the years, uh, 
it got to the place that we were having 700 kids on a weekend, on a Thursday morning at 6.30 in the morning. That's when I decided, well, we, we need to make this young life and go into the different high schools. So that's uh, when we made the joint, uh, joined up with Young Life, and I ended up on their staff. I find myself thrilled with the way Young Life has gone in its vision for the church and its vision for kids. Young Life works with kids better than anybody in the world. And they do so out of the deep wellspring of God's grace and God's love and God's power. And man, am I glad to be part of what God is doing through, through Young Life. I'm so thankful.